our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. If you just first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs at Force Chibaya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Again, back into this position. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow up. What follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very short. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. See where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. That was landed clean. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking on bar now. Oh, high amplitude slam there. Beautiful job defensively to fend off the arm bar and slam his opponent to the canvas. Under a minute now to go. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big cut. 
combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful if you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control the and And if you're in trouble, that is the finish. Continue to gain postures and rain down big strikes in your corner. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Takedown defense. This is a collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three oh. piece, no soda. It's one and done, more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something oh, and look at behind that. it. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Now it's his mouth. Push off his head in posture. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Oh. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at four minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Hobbs and Boris Kukla! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.